So hey, awesome ones, no matter what you call it, you know that menopausal spread, or maybe you just get bloated after you eat a meal, but uh, <laughs> I think a lot of us need to have some tips, including myself, on how to hide our belly. And by no way is this video about body shaming or anything like that. Hey, I'm in the same boat as you. And I just came up with some new tips and tricks, and I just thought I'd share them with you, so let's get started. So just a quick story, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video now, not only because a lot of women are, you know, getting social again and going back to work, but on one of my recent videos, I had a brand new jean skirt that I was really proud of. And there for the world to see in the video was the outline of my belly. It was <laughs> a real faux pas that I'm not supposed to do, but I did it anyway. So I said to myself, I need a refresher course. So that's what this video is. And there's five different mistakes and also the befores and the after fixes for you. So here's how I looked in that video and tucking all this material inside and also just leaving this open for the world to see gave me a really unflattering kind of stomach bulge here. But so here I am with a couple of tricks to look better. First of all, I have a camisole underneath and that's the kind of ruching that you see here to hide things. And if I want to hide it a little bit lower, I can always pull the camisole down. Uh, of course, it's very matchy-matchy to this t-shirt that I'm wearing. And I decided to tie a little knot again into the front so that I've got more ruching here. Ruching really hides your tummy. I guess you're getting that by now. And I think I have a much nicer look with a jean skirt and a t-shirt. And by the way, I absolutely love that kind of dark wash stretchy jean skirt. It's more of a pencil skirt. I really like it. And if you like it too, I'm going to have links for that and of course other clothing below the description. But let's get into the next outfit. And if you're a person who likes to wear all black and oversized clothing, this will be one for you. So, you know black is slimming, and you've also heard that wearing a shift dress will hide your tummy, and especially if it's oversized, but to me it just kind of looks like, do you remember the old analogy about a potato sack? Well, it kind of looks to me like a big potato sack, and for sure, we can do better. So I love this dress that I got from Amazon. It's great for the summer. Has the cap sleeves that also hides the tops of my arms as well. But notice how, I mean, it's color. It comes in so many colors as well. Imagine this in red, it would look so great too. But the ruching, the ruching. So we've got a little bit of style. It's bringing us in at the right places and find a dress with lots of ruching from the top all the way down and you're set. So please ditch the all black and oversized clothes and use my tips and brighten up your look. Go find some color out there and blues and greens and I'm even wearing orange these days. So, uh, so what's number three? Well, there seems to be a trend right now in fashion for shorter kind of sweaters and shorter jackets, you know, especially the moto jackets. And this can really cause a problem when we're trying to hide our belly. So let's take a look at what I mean. So you're happy to be wearing the higher waisted jeans again, and you're wearing the, you know, moto jacket or the more crop tops, and you think you have to have a line going right across, but girls, that's kind of showing off your belly a little bit too much. So let's look at something a little better. So what you wanna do is you wanna wear a top that kind of blends in with the pants or the skirt that you're wearing. And wow, 
you've just sort of covered up everything and don't worry this kind of look where I'm wearing a camisole right now just kind of goes over the top of your pants is actually trending so you'll be in style you'll be covering up your tummy and you're gonna be able to wear those shorter jackets and stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to be talking about a lucky draw that I'm going to have in the future when I reach 100,000 subs. Woohoo! <laughs> and thank you, thank you so much, all of you. Now, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, number four. So my tip is to focus on your undergarments. Hey, if you're still wearing these itsy bitsy teeny weeny undies uh, and you got a little bit of a muffin top, it's not gonna work for you. And hey, I know we don't wanna wear shapewear every single day. So what I would suggest is a pair of briefs like these that sort of rise higher and hold everything in a bit. Uh, that way you're not wearing shapewear all the time, especially especially for those, you know, more casual days. So my next tip is about those really bulky kind of knitted tops that you're seeing that are trending right now. And if you have no tummy, it's gonna be great on you, but if you've been through the video so far, I'm going to figure that all that bulk will not be your friend. Now, I love everything about this sweater. I love the neckline, I love the design but it's just looking too bulky for me and I can't tuck it in or ruche it or anything. So what should I do? I have to wear a different kind of sweater. So this is still a sweater. We gotta wear sweaters in the winter time in the colder weather, but we don't wanna wear black all the time. So I love this color. And what I did, instead of just letting it all kind of hang out, all I did was tuck into the each side and that way it gave a little bit of ruching. And I'll just sort of show you these pants because I love these jeans. They're from Lee and Amazon. They're super stretchy, but um, they're kind of holding things in a little bit on the inside as well, so that's nice. Now, I know I talked to you about a delicate jewelry, but you can wear a long necklace like this and actually when you wear a long necklace like this it actually brings the eye downward so that works too to help you look slimmer so I told you I wanted to do something special when I hit the 100,000 subs. And again, thank you so, so much. And as many of you know, I did write a book and it took me like a year and a half of Saturdays to write it. And it hardly touches on fashion and uh, makeup. Really, I do a deep dive into 50 tips to help you on really not feeling invisible anymore, feeling more confident, how to avoid the toxic people, find, finally, right? And also, what other topics do I have? Well, having a dream again and, and feeling really confident in the future and also healing some of our deep wounds that we all have. So I'm really excited about it and I thought to myself, hmm, what should I do? And I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a draw after, it's gonna be on a video after I reach the 100,000 subs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to personally autograph for a dozen of you who win, uh, we're going to draw it out of a hat, personally autograph it on the inside with a special message for you. And uh, if you already bought the book, and thank you if you did, I know a lot of you are saying that you keep it by your side for inspiration. You can give it to a friend and I'll make sure that I autograph and send a message for a friend. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so how do I enter this draw? And all you have to do is in the comments, and by the way, I read pretty well every comment, and I certainly will this time. All you have to do is in your comments say, keeping it awesome, and I'll know that you wanna be in the draw. And by the way, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so you'll be notified when my videos are out. And you know what? It's a great community here. We all kind of chat in the comments and I'd love to have you here. And I also just wanna tell you right now, I have the deepest gratitude and love for all of you. And 
it just makes me want to have a long-term commitment to this channel and read the comments. So let's all be on the journey together, of course, and let's throw off the cloak of invisibility and keep it awesome.